Hey guys, VHE Tutor here. Um, I'm gonna do a uh, tutorial on like your first, your first room, your first room, cause um, my first one was shit, and I was like really young, so I'm gonna make it again. So this is your first room. Uh, you know your first room you'll ever make in Hammer because you're new. So file new, and um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna find our texture. I think I'm just gonna jump right into this. So type FLR for floor and um, choose a floor texture, it doesn't matter. And then uh, when you click in the 3D view here you can hit Z and then you can float around in 3D view and then we'll take the block tool here. We want to be on grid 8. You'll start off at 64 so uh, you can click, the, uh, you can press the left and right brackets on your keyboard or you can press these two buttons up here and uh, they will increase grid size. Use grid size 8, it's a good grid size. So, um, what we'll do is uh, we will make this floor. How big will we make it? We will make it, um, let's see. Height will be 32, and it's apparently it's going to be 256 by 256. Is that? Yeah, 256 by 256, which I don't think it's that big. Yeah, it's not. And then I put my player start here, hit the entity tool, and default, it's on info player start. So we'll just set him there. And that's not big at all, so we will increase this to, actually I'm going to go to grid size 32 for now, just so I can uh, make it a little bigger faster. Let's make just make the room 512 by 512. And if you didn't uh, see, right down here is all the proportions. So 512, <coughs> excuse me, by 512, that's good. So it's a very uh, even room. I'm going to go back to grid size 8. Click on him. Put him right in the middle. And the floor is good, so move him up just a little bit. Now we'll type in wall. Let's see here. Looking for a wall. This wall. And now see the uh, height for this wall is 128. So to keep it, keep the textures proportioned, uh, I'm going to make that wall 32. To keep it proportioned, we're going to make the height of it 128. 128. But uh, I'll put it above ground first. And we will click on the green multi texture tool, click on that, hit face then fit but uh, make sure the scale of X and Y are both one and then I will after since the texture is already perfect now I will now drag it down to uh, make it look better on the grid and then uh, I will copy it hold shift and then click and drag make sure to let go of your mouse first and then uh, <coughs> excuse me face that so and then I'll copy it again, click on it to rotate or to change the modes, rotate it sideways, and make sure to proportion it. Then uh, do it to the other side. Hold shift and let go of the mouse first. And there we go. <coughs> uh, so we have a room. And then I um, guess I'll just put a divider in there. It's going this way. We'll only make it to the, uh, oops, make it on the insides. And then I will search for door, or you can uh, get better door selection by typing DR. Um, <coughs> we'll make a sliding door. See how it's a 64 by 112? We gotta follow that. So, 64 by. 112. Oh, that's that's a pretty big door. And right now we will uh, cut that. It will fix the texture. We'll take this, the carve tool, hit a uh, Shift X to change the modes, and we will put them all white. And then we will delete this middle part, so that way the door can fit in. And then see how it's like in between. That's what we want. Change that to um type 
Trim, trim to trim. We'll apply that. Let's see. Make it uh, like that. And of course, we're now going to need a ceiling, a CEI. You'll sometimes you can use a floor texture as a ceiling, but it doesn't really matter. Just do this. <coughs> Actually, just copy the floor and put it on top. That works too. And then I'll just copy this and only make it that. So then that looks like that. And then uh, we will uh, face fit. Face fit. Oh, it looks like these doors are going to open two different ways. So I'm just going to real quick. Um, world fit. Now they're both going to open one way. You don't want to change this texture. <coughs> Actually, I'm going to make the door a little thinner. So I'm going to reduce one grid size so I can put it in the middle. And then, uh, that looks good. So then, Control T to do a title world. Then, you're gonna do Funk Door. <coughs> um, <coughs> sorry, uh, no name. And here's the yaw. This is the direction the door is gonna move in. So, we're gonna make it move up. Well, it's actually to the left. So, 90 degrees. Lip, make it three. That's how far the door sticks out. How long before it closes? Four is good. Move sound. Um, pneumatic sliding and just do a clang with break. I don't know. I'm not familiar or 100% sure on what each of the sounds are. And then uh, speed 100. That's that's fine. And then for light plus zero because uh, a lot of people like to use the light entity. But um, it uh sometimes it's or well all the time it's it's better to use lights that or textures that automatically emit light from the lights dot red, which is a text file or yeah it you can open it with a texture view or <coughs> WordPad or Notepad and it's just a list of textures and it makes them give off light so it like in the in the lights dot red it uh, I'm not good at explaining things and the lights dot red it lists each texture that will give off light and you can add and change stuff so I will use this one plus 0, 050's light 2 plus 0 16 by 64 so 16 by 64 and then still on grid 4 here you get thin and then I'll search metal just for a siding on it apply so I'm gonna right click after that's selected to change all of them and then I'm gonna put it in the other room so we got light I mean the nut perfect but whatever so what do we got we got a player our lights and if you want you can use a light entity but that's only in needed situations the light doesn't automatically give off um <coughs> we got a door I think that's it so player rooms and door save as door tutorial door tutorial now I'm going to run it I had a little problem, don't need to worry about it though. And um that's our map. I'll show you what it looks like in game.